Here is a quick spontaneous video. This is an LCD TV. This was a dump find a while ago. In fact, over a year ago, I think. It came with the remote control, which is nice. And I just wanted to take a look inside, make sure everything is fine in here. This is a Medion TV. This was sold in Aldi. Now, of course, Medion does not make their own products. This TV, if we look around, see, for example, up here, it says Hurier. And right there, it says Kubra. These are all Turkish terms. So this was made by Vestel in Turkey. I found a date code. This was made in February of 2010. So it's little over 10 years old now. And of course, this means very traditional CCFL backlight, cold cathode fluorescent. There are the inverters. Nicely exposed. Now, of course, that means exposed high voltage, but on all the TVs that have this enclosed, the inverters run very hot, which is not good. So, plenty of cooling there. The power supply, very surprisingly, is built using 105 degrees Celsius rated capacitors. That might be one of the reasons why this TV is still working. The signal processing is a mix. We do have all the traditional analog inputs, but we also have HDMI and a digital audio output. Now, the TV, it's not full HD. This is what back then was called HD ready. It was a sort of in-between resolution. And the display panel for that was made by Samsung. And as typical for these old LCD TVs, we do have some relatively decent speakers in here. Of course, with the modern super ultra flat TVs, there is no more space for anything like this. I mean, this is quite a decent sized magnet right there. So, it's a nice TV. I'm happy with this. I just came across one thing that I do want to change. This right here. You've probably already seen there is this tape on these chips. Now, this is a plastic-coated copper tape. You can kind of see the, uh, the copper shining through at the cut edge. And I guess, you know, this is not connected to anything. So it's not for shielding. This must be for cooling. And yeah, we can do better than this. Well, that looks perfect. Would you be able to tell that those heat sinks are not factory standard? I couldn't. I put them in place using the double-sided thermal adhesive tape. Now, of course, you have to keep in mind that the back of the case will go over this again. With this height, it shouldn't be a problem. I had another option, this one, probably a bit of an overkill, and this certainly would not have fit between the board and the back of the case. But this looks really good and it should be a massive improvement over the copper tape that was there originally. Well, that was almost perfect, but not quite 100%. The back panel would not fit, so I have now removed this first row of pins. Thankfully that was easy to do. I could just snip them off. The TV has finally been put back together. I had to take it apart again the first time to 
correct the heat sink. And then I had to take it apart a second time because the plastic that the screw up in this corner screws into had broken off and was blocking the case from going back together. This is a Medion model MD20175 DEA, which probably stands for Germany and Austria, 26 inch LCD TV. And there is the TV in action. Very uncomfortable to film because it's sitting all the way up right under the ceiling being a much more useful preview screen than the one that's built into the camera. And what this setup is going to be good for, you'll find out soon. Thanks for watching.